Hello and good evening. Welcome to Stutter Pot TV. I'm your host, NJW, and I'm back with another crime twisted episode today on Stutter Pot TV. This is the story of Markeisha Thomas, aged 28, a mother to eight beautiful kids who was shot, killed and dragged by her boyfriend while she was trying to escape from him after a serious argument. Her boyfriend by the name... She didn't look like she had no eight kids, but I wonder how many she had by this character. ...name of Byron Pipkin killed her just because he was upset by something senseless and then called the cops to report someone else killing his girlfriend but was later identified by witnesses as the actual killer. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. This story will be taking us to the city of Cordova, Tennessee. Cordova was a farming village east of Memphis with fewer than a dozen farms when it was founded in 1835. It has many popular attractions including Shelby Farms Park, Bellevue Baptist Church, and Meddlesome Brewing Company. Markeisha Thomas was a 28-year-old beautiful woman who lived and enjoyed life as much as she could. Markeisha was a mother to eight beautiful kids, she loved them with all her heart, she said in one of her social media posts that, raising my kids is my choice. Sometimes I give up or go without for them. I don't regret it. My life is and always will be for my children no matter how big they get. They haven't ruined my life. They have given me a whole new view on the meaning of life. I couldn't love them more than I already do. She had to put this out to deter- She didn't look like she had eight kids. I'm gonna say that one more time. Her people who keep telling her she had too many kids. Despite what people say about her and her kids, she loved them and treated them like prince and princesses. So people was telling her she had too many kids. God damn, was she asking them to help take care of them? People thought she might not have a boyfriend, but she found someone who was willing to love her along with her kids. Markeisha found love with a young man named Byron Pipkin, or so she thought. Byron Pipkin was a vibrant young man aged 33. When they met, Markeisha had seven kids already and would go ahead to have one more kids okay. with Byron. They, they showed a lot of affection together. on social media. They loved each other so much. They played games online, they went to parties and did a lot together, making some people who watched them online envious of their relationship. This one's for They look like they enjoyed each other, but you know, looks can be deceiving. She had eight kids, and how many eight baby daddies did she have, I wonder? Couples. Thirteen embarrassing questions. Who overthinks everything? Who showers less? Who is always eating? Who has a nicer butt? Who is more possessive? Who drools more? Who is a better driver? Who curses more? Who always sleeps in? Who is always on their phone? Who has the worst singing voice? Who takes the most selfies? Yeah, that's a good question. Who is the lawbreaker? But as it turns out, things were not as it seems on the inside. Things were rough even though they portrayed to the public yeah, that they had a very it. lovely relationship. Clues started popping up when Markeisha started posting cryptic messages on her social media. One example is her saying, let me be clear, for years I let everything slide, but now I have boundaries. You don't get to talk down to me. You don't get to smile in my face and secretly despise me. You don't get to throw jabs at me innocently through jokes. You don't get to use me. One thing about it, actions don't lie. I was too busy trying to keep the peace and that's where I disrespected myself. I deserve the love I give freely to everyone around me. I am alert enough to catch the shade and healed enough to go about my day. Just don't step to me, respectfully. Another that was a nice little message to whoever she was talking to, but evidently he didn't get the message. Another one of the cryptic message reads, my ultimate goals years ago was for me to be fully at 
peace and be filled with nothing but happiness. It started when I eliminated toxic feelings, elements and energy from my life. Life humbles you as you age, I no longer allot people to cause chaos within my life. I don't care what it is, I am at a happy place in my life where peace is a priority and I thank God for it all even the growth and maturity. I'm so protective of me now. I will cut someone off for simply having the wrong energy. This messages was indirectly pointing to someone, her boyfriend. That was her way of t Oh, so they understood that she was talking to him, but he didn't. Oh, he took him wrong, that's why he ended up doing what he did. Telling the world things were bad and she was going to be standing up for herself. On this particular day, Markeisha got into an argument with her boyfriend, Byron Pipkin, in the home the shared. For whatsoever reason, Markeisha tried to escape from the house via the garage but she was shot in her tracks by her boyfriend. This event was seen by a neighbor across the street who then called the cops to tell them what he had seen. When Markeisha collapsed in the front yard, Byron dragged her back into the garage before going into the home and telling their six-year-old girl most likely his child to come with him. Byron then they fled the, the scene with the six-year-old. Byron then called 911 and told operators he was following the person who shot his girlfriend. He claimed that another man was the shooter during the 911 call, but officers later determined that Byron was the shooter. Byron later dropped off the six-year-old girl at an acquaintance home before leaving the area. A search for him started and police got information about his whereabout. He was discovered to be hiding in a motel room. He barricaded himself and refused to come out of the room after they gave verbal command. He was taken into custody peacefully after he barricaded himself in a South Memphis motel. So he gonna kill the girl, but then buy out peacefully like a coward? I think he should've went out suicide by a cop. You know, to kill this girl and take this girl away from her eight kids. Shelby County deputies say it all stemmed from Thursday's domestic violence homicide in Cordova. Deputies say Thursday morning, 28-year-old Markeisha Thomas was shot on Crosswood Lane in Cordova. She later died that evening. The suspect who allegedly shot her was on the run. Friday morning, deputies found the man at an economy inn on Ketchum Road and Airways Boulevard. He barricaded himself inside of that motel. After a few hours, that man was arrested. One of the victim's friends, who did not want to be shown on camera, said that the victim was a great person and mother. I feel good. It just basically I feel good with the whole situation that someone actually got a risk and it's not something that'll be a poor long and, and you know Well man, if you if she was such a friend, why is he getting arrested? If you knew what y'all knew where he, where he was at at the hotel, what well, happened to holding court in the streets? He's satisfied this boy got arrested. Get off my goddamn TV. Having so many questions about who did it. And when you in the midst of violence, just leave. It's not worth your life, it's not worth the other person's life. It just it's not worth none of it. Just leave. He is now being charged with first degree murder, convicted felon in possession of a handgun, domestic assault, and existing arrest warrants. Byron Records shows that he was previously convicted for aggravated assault in 2012 also has multiple charges from previous arrests, dating back to 2014, including possession of contraband into a penal facility, reckless endangerment and possession of a controlled substance. We hope Markeisha Thomas gets the justice she deserves. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Markeisha Thomas. May Markeisha's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her, and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay. Well, there you have it. Another episode of Stutter Pot TV. I'm your host, NJW, with another Twisted Crimes episode. These guys is really out here killing these women instead of just leaving them. Stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video.